there. Well, what I'm doing now is working on a 7 inch Motorola VT71 television. Uh, you're looking at the bottom of the chassis right here from a distance. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but we'll get a little closer here in a minute and go over what uh, I'm doing here. It's a total restoration. The set is, has been made, it was made in 1949, um, and it's a collector, uh, collector's item. Um, this is the uh, schematic here for it. And what I have done is replaced all components in the set that are critical to the operation of the set. And that represents every single capacitor in here and any resistors that were off were changed. Uh, in, I'm in the process of changing these two 6,000 volt caps right here. Uh, that's these two right here. Um, these are good, but I've got some new ones here that I'm going to uh, replace with, uh, instead of the 6,000 volt, I'm going to put in the 8,000 volt so that they'll hold up a little better. And uh, this set does have a good size high voltage, and these are dangerous to work on, as I will uh, attempt to show you here. That is 6,000 volts right there. That's not very much by today's television standards, but on these sets here, 6,000 volts was quite common, and they were more dangerous to work on than the uh, newer ones. Here's what I have for a picture so far on my test pattern, as you can see. I am feeding that test pattern with my B&K 1077 television analysts which I acquired not too long ago at a very reasonable price. This thing here is similar to a miniature television studio in which it can uh, insert all the video and sound if I wanted to into the television that I'm working on. This is necessary because we don't get good television reception up here. What I'm going to be doing of course is to shut this down and replace these two caps uh, in the vertical circuit here uh, with the newer uh, types of caps which will hold up better because this set has approximately 6,500 volts on these right now these caps are only rated at 6,000 so we're running uh, a little above what we should be but this is the only ones I had in stock at the time and I mail ordered these and I'm lucky to get these because it's my hobby to work on these old things right here I enjoy it and with these things they're like an old car you have to keep them up and you have to almost babysit them these things here you know the technology has come a long way in 50 60 years these things change a lot you know you probably remember when you were a kid you used to sit there and watch the television, it would start rolling and you'd get up and you'd adjust it. And you'd get comfortable and it would start rolling again. Well, parts change value. On tube sets they heat up and they, the heat and contra heating and contraction of the vacuum tubes, the components, the capacitors and so forth. They all are affected by temperature, age, moisture and so on and so forth. So anyways, I enjoy doing this, and as I said, I discourage working on VCRs. People have given me VCRs. I go through a basic cleaning and uh, so forth, and if it's a quick, simple adjustment, I'll do it more than happy. But gets involved with the, uh, the integrated circuits. I don't have the equipment, and I don't have the knowledge. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I do not have the equipment or the knowledge to do this. Um, my knowledge, probably I'm um, 30 years behind times, but I enjoy working on this stuff. I don't want to get into the new things, I, you know, uh, because it requires a lot of schooling, a lot of mathematics, which I'm no good at, and so on and so forth. By the way, I think we're going to uh, stop the flapping now. I want to go get involved on this set here, and I want to work on it. You're welcome to watch me uh, work on it and change these caps. All right, what I got to do here? I had a temporary tack here and a temporary tack right here. And we're going to remove these two. 
TBM5256. We're going to remove these two here. We're going to replace them right now. Five at six thousand. We're going to put a double oh four seven at eight thousand in here, and we're going from this point here. We're going from this point here to on the other side of this, we're going to try to connect it directly to the tube. these pots over here I don't know if you can actually see them from the angle at which the camera's at try to turn it a little bit these are the controls for the back of the set these are all insulated from the ground of the chassis so that uh, they do not short out because there's a potential of 6,000 plus on them um, controls right here where all these uh, components are that I'm soldering in place now what I'm going to do over here is to attempt to pull off this lead here. And I don't know if I can do that from here. I think I'm going to have to do is to